Ciao, everyone. Buona festa della Repubblica. Hope you're having a great day, no matter what day you're watching. I'm Esther. I'm Alfred. Of you, me, and Sicily. And welcome back to our channel, or welcome to this channel if you're new around here. The Today is the Republic Day, right? Today is the Republic Day. We're going to talk all about that. But first, if you guys have been around here for a while, you know that our neighbor, Francesco, loves to bring us stuff. So look what he did. He bought this is probably what two kilos, four pounds. There's about five pounds of cherries there, at least. Five pounds. What of cherries. am I going to do with all these cherries? Does anybody what know how to make? What am I going to do with all these cherries? Anybody know how to make cherry jam or something? Yeah, you need some advice on that. All I right, can't, I can't eat all those. Of course you can. No, there's too you. many. Good for They'll you. They'll probably go bad too, right? Hmm. Anyways, they're I very tasty. Them. They're from Mount Etna. And today, everybody and their sister was selling them that stuff. Yeah, that's right. Well, it's a yeah. national holiday in uh, Sicily and in Italy. And we want to talk to you a little bit about the significance of the Festa della Repubblica. Today commemorates 75 years, dating back to June 2nd and June 3rd of 1946, when the Italian people were asked to vote on a referendum whether to maintain the monarchy or establish a new form of a government, that being of a republic. 80% of the people, 80% of the people went out to vote. Now, before I tell you the results, which you obviously know, let me set up the situation, right? We're right after the war, Al, right? The country lost, Italy lost the war. Uh, it was devastated, people's lives were lost. It was time to rebuild the country. So what would they do now keep in mind that up till then there was a monarchy that was ruling the country right the casa de savoia the savoy house and was first uh in 1961 emmanuele the uh, second then his son um Alberto, and then another emmanuel the third right and then another um umberto uh, ultimately was the last king to rule here in Italy. And I think people were kind of, you know, blaming him for Emmanuel II, blaming him, first of all, for the rise of Mussolini, secondly, for losing the war and getting into the war in the first place. So I think there was a little bit of this, this you know, not too happy with the monarchy. But Sicily was different, right? Of the 54% of the country, 54%, so not a large majority, that voted for a new republic, south of Rome, Al, right? They voted to maintain the monarchy. Now, there's a lot of theories about that. So what do you think, Al? I think they didn't trust the Northerners. To this day, they still don't trust the Northerners because they stepped on us. But you have to understand, that the South, we were, this was a heavily fascist area uh, during the war. And their loyalties were to Mussolini. I mean, even today, we still see stuff written on the walls as to about <laughs> Mussolini. But they were corrupt. It was a corrupt, uh, toward the end, the House of Savoy was very corrupt. Uh, they let they let Mussolini take over as a prime minister er, early, the king. And, you know, the, the really, I mean, not as a king, as a pr uh, prime minister. And the king really was his figurehead. So guess what? Yeah, and in those last days, you know, Emmanuel II gave the throne over to Umberto um, II, and he first didn't want to accept the results of the votes, right? He protested. He, he thought this was a big ploy against him. Well, the, the extreme uh, left brought the election to the Republic, okay? The extreme left, okay? Mm -hmm. Those who were, especially the communists, Communist and socialist. The United States was in a very precarious position because um, they wanted to have influence over all of Italy, okay? But they were fearful that Russia, who at that time, as you know, was had occupied, you know, Germany and every other place as a result of the Second World War, was going to get more and more influence. So according to some historians and some, I guess you can call them, conspiracy theories, mm -hmm. uh, the, the United States uh, Secret Services, the clandestine uh, CIA, so to speak, they were very much involved trying to rig this election. Did you know that? No. Yeah. Um, the other thing is, you know, if you look at the map of who voted for the Republic, mostly North and the mostly South, uh, voted for uh, to maintain the monarchy. 
Sicily, of course, voting for the monarchy. But interestingly, the only province, Al, do you know this? Which province, the only province in Sicily that voted for the Republic? The opposite of Catania, Palermo, the no, province of Palermo. No, the province of Trapani. Trapani? The west of ah, the westernmost, Trapani. the province of Trapani, you know, who knows why. But the interesting th too is, thing, too, is I think the Sicilians were used to monarchy and the Republic was all of a sudden a big change. They were concerned uh, that the Catholic, the Christian ways of the monarchy would somehow go away. Also, you have to remember that, you know, Sicily had been ruled by monarchs for centuries and centuries before the unification of um, Italy. And there were a lot of baronets and duchess and uh, nobility here. And I bet they had a little bit of a play into trying to persuade the people who, by the way, were illiterate, right? It was huge illiteracy, uneducated. So I'm guessing the nobility here had a big hand in trying to persuade the population here into voting. I mean, they had leaflets out and everything, right? It was all about the Benjamins, baby. Those <laughs> barons that owned the farming land over here, mm -hmm. they had uh, basically indentured servants working for them. So they didn't want to disrupt anything. They didn't want to cut their money uh, into the uh, you know, piece of their action to the northerners. Why would they? Wouldn't so, you think the farmers would be sick of working for them, though? Uh, probably yes, but probably no also, because look at the result. I mean, look yeah. at the result uh, of... Look at today. Let's fast forward 75 years, Esther. Yeah. How does that sound? You want to like juxtaposition Be rude today? Go. All right. <laughs> it's not that good today. You think it's good today? Hmm? The, the, the economy is in shambles. Corruption is a corruption is if you look up the, the definition of corruption, you're going to see the Italian. You're going to see the yeah. Palazzi. Uh, what's it called? Uh, up Chigli. there. What's it called? Chigli. Chigli up there in, in Rome, okay? I think the unification. 68 governments in 70 years. Come on, 68 governments in 70 years. Listen I think, to what I'm saying. You know, the unification is another topic we can cover another time, but I think that is also part of the problem. And let me just say a couple of other things. You know, this uh, <laughs> referendum was ratified on June 6th, 1946. What else happened on June 6th? D-Day. What else happened on June 6th? My birthday. No, but you weren't born in 46, <laughs> though. No, but June 6th is a good no, day. That's a good day, I guess. Yeah. 75, June anyway. Six. It's like, it's, today is like uh, the 4th, 4th of, of July, July in the United States. Yeah. Right now in Rome at the, uh, the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier, you know that big... Uh, monument. It looked like the typewriter. It looks like a typewriter. People hated it when it was built. That was built during by Mussolini. Uh, they have all sorts of ceremonies. There's usually My ceremonies here. The even flyby, the tricolor, yeah, the tricolor fly, fly, fly by flies with the by. Italian uh, right. flag. Uh, the other thing that happens is there's a big concert with uh, all the military members. You know, the Italian Navy, the Air Force, all the, even the Carabinieri, even the um, uh, Finanza, the Department of Fiance, and they have a beautiful concert. But one more thing I want to um, add into this is that I was watching an interview on um, on Italian TV with a woman. Listen to this. She was instrumental in teaching the woman how to vote, right? Because this was the first time that women went out to vote and they just didn't know what to do. And they were so worried about what documents to bring and how does it work? And, and she had like a picture that showed them exactly where they had to register, what the each, um, each ballot meant, you know, like the Republica had the uh, beautiful woman, right? With the, uh, with the Laurel, no, with the Crescent. But yeah, what um, was it called? Turita, something like that. Yeah. The national symbol with the, with the uh, with the with the what do you call it? The, the walls on top symbolizing mm -hmm. the cities. With the with the she's holding the cornucopia symbolizing the yes. uh, the wealth of Italy. It's a very famous symbol. It's a beautiful woman. It's like this Statue of Liberty almost. And then on the other side was a symbol of the Casa de Savoy, the um, Savoy house here, monarchy, the, yeah. which it was the monarchy. And then uh, she was telling me that people, the women would ask, well, I, I don't know where to vote. I don't know what to vote. Uh, I don't know. And she kept telling them, don't talk to your, you know, talk to yourself. Ask yourself, you vote as a private person. 
this is your decision. And it was so confusing because women were not used to this. And there's footage of the women dressing up to the T from head to toe, their best clothing to go vote. And they would go in groups. And there's pictures of women going in groups and voting for the first time and then coming out and saying, I voted, I voted. Big day here. That's what I think. No. <laughs> uh, Sicilian ballot harvesting. Ching ching. How does that sound? Ching, you know ching. something? You ought to go to you ought to go to Wiki afterwards if you want to learn about uh, the formation of the Italian Republic. And go to Wikipedia. They have a good story. Mm -hmm. uh, just just put down uh, Republic Day. Okay. And the good thing about Wiki that I like is they have the hyperlink. So if they give you somebody a person. You yeah. could click onto the person, and I spent a good couple hours, a uh, couple of a couple of days ago, and I really enjoyed myself. And then also on YouTube, uh, yeah, you were telling me up. that the fellow that that's uh, that got drop kicked out, he lives in Portugal now, the former king of the right. Savoy. We, he gave a very inspirational speech, didn't he? Right. Well, that was Umberto the second back in yeah. 1946. First, he didn't want to get. It didn't want to go, but then he said, "You know what?" Uh, he asked the people of Italy to be with the, um, with the republic. Yeah. Now, what is more interesting is that they were exiled to Portugal until about the '80s, and now one of his grandsons—I forget his name, but I follow him um, online. Now he's, you know, his house is Savoy, and his daughter is 17, and she's the first female heir to the Italian uh, seat in a thousand years. 17 years old and she's an influencer. This just happened a few minutes, a few hours ago. Can we I make my out? announcement? Oh yeah. <laughs> All right. Today I'm announcing the formation of the kingdom of Alfred. Okay. I'll be an option to the corrupt uh, government in Italy today. So I think I'm going to start next week. I'm going to be d designing and my what own are banners. What are you going to pay people? Oh, okay. Paying, I have to pay people. Okay. Wednesday nights will be free pizzas nationally in Italy. Pizza. Free pizza nationally. Okay. I'm also going to limit the terms of all the elected officials here in Italy to two terms uh, one term in office and then one term in jail. A lot of them belong Perfect. in jail. Thank you very much. Is that a good one? <laughs> That's a good one. Can well, we say hello now? And then free marijuana to everybody. Okay. okay. Anybody who wants to get stoned, have weed, we'll just give you the weed free. It's just not legal just here. vote over here. What do you mean? It's not? We'll make it legal. Okay, that's the other thing. <laughs> Vote for Alfred. Vote a Santa Astro and Alfred. King Buona Alfred. It was Alfred. Festa della Repubblica. <laughs> when you need to replenish your cash from U.S. banks, you contact Bank of America to transfer it to your Italian bank account. I do that. Yes, Nancy. That's exactly what I do. I have my Italian bank tied to my Bank of America, and when I need to transfer some money over, I transfer it over. It typically happens really fast. Okay, thank or you. Or you can just take the money out from your American bank and walk over and put it into your Italian bank with the debit card. Yeah. Okay, you uh, get to $1,000 out a day from BOA, okay? $1,000 out. Or if you have larger amounts that you want to wire over, or by the way, just excuse me yeah. for one second, uh, transfer wise is probably the most Very cost good. effective way uh, to uh, wire money into your Italian bank accounts from your American. Transfer. Wow. Wise, it's called. Okay. Thank you, Rudy DeFinis, for becoming a new member. Where's your bell? I thought we we're going to do the bell. What's, what's, Chiara what's the for? is here. Hmm? What's, what, what, wait a second, wait a second. Let me say hello. Chiara, Chiara, Chiara. Uh, ciao tutti, Helen Carmasco is here. Peter Scapoletti is here. Okay. Rudy is watching from Pomano Beach, Florida. Looking Me. forward to going to see my new home in Termini Merezzi in Great the place. Summer. I like that place. Very convenient. Very convenient, Rudy. Very convenient. Peter, what should I do with those cherries? They are big. Jody DeLuca is here. Manny. I'm late, but I'm here. If you hey. missed it, Manny, just scroll through and watch the beginning. We had some good stuff about the... Festa della Repubblica escaped to Sicily's here. They're the renovation guys doing work here. They're moving along. Who's renovation guys? They're the escape to Sicily, our friends that we met in Catania. We had a cannoli, remember? They filmed yeah, I'm us. Drawing. I'm having a senior moment. Alicia from Florida. When did we meet them? Last week, honey. They're the Hungarian and the British guys. Oh, great people. I'm from Malta. Good Ciao. job on the video He's work. <laughs> 
yeah, that looks really good. Uh, Anthony says, I'm learning and appreciate it a lot. I'm on my way soon. Sounds Anthony, good. the more you learn, the better you enjoy the experience. If you're coming to live here, you're coming into a foreign land. Use Wikipedia as initial sourcing just to get a general idea. What is the general you know, idea? I'm not, and then you delve into it. Yeah, okay? I'm not. To be quite honest with you, I'm not the biggest Wikipedia. Fan. No, I, I like, like Wikipedia as a other. starting point. As it's only, I've said that a million yeah. times. A starting point, just to figure out what the, what what is the holiday today? Oh, it's like July Fourth. Okay, I mean basically, you know, I, the, you know what's a good publication, and I'm drawing a blank on it. Our friend over there, um, he's the British guy. Uh, very good. We were doing some work with him, and he lives in um, up by Campo Felice de Rochella. What's his name? He is a great, great, great. What does he have? Uh, he has that online public. The Times of Sicily. The Times of Sicily. I highly recommend that. He has uh, writers from all over Sicily and Italy. The Times of Sicily. Well, there's a, there's a lot of good places online nowadays that you can get a good background. Can I just throw in one more thing here? Yeah, yeah. All right. And when we were talking about housing last week, how to buy a house, et cetera, somebody begged me to talk about how to rent a house, which we'll do in a future episode. However, okay, for those of you who are interested in buying, renting a house, buying furniture, buying anything at, online while you're in the United States and establishing contracts, contacts with buyers, you want to go to this website, www.subido.com. Dot it s u b i t o love that name yeah subido, subido I means right away <laughs> subido dot and then you click on what you want it's like a, a huge marketplace and I, they have it by city too so you can go su, subido uh, dot it backslash say catania all right or you could just put it into the search box over there and you can buy cars online furniture online apartments online rent villas online they even have a big classified section now for, you know, jobs, online That's jobs. Right. Subito, S-U-B-I-T-O, dot I-T. Even if you don't use it, it'll give you a good idea of what the, the going rate is for apartments, say, for example, in Catania, okay, okay. where they're running about six fifty a month euro to 1500 euro a month depending on the size that you want so it'll just give you an idea escape to sicily says we always admire your dedication for sharing such a wide range of knowledge about sicily thank you for the hard work Hi, thank guys. you thank you so much for saying you guys that are we awesome. appreciate that a lot I, remember, I hope the renovation's going okay they're moving along they're just looking oh, good, good. good um I saw somewhere uh, Jody Luca was asking about M26. Let me tell you, I had some M26 is not bad. It's not Online bad. I account. had the, an experience with M26, uh, and they were pretty good. I still have it. I still have it in an account, but I'd rather have a physical place um, to ha have here in Sicily. So that's why I want you unit credit. See, you can't use that for your residency, though, even though there were some people in some remote towns that use that uh, for their residency. Here's, here's what the catch 22 is, okay? Is that one of the requirements to get a resident card is that you have to have a bank account, okay? Now, you that means you have to get an Italian bank account. You can't show up with a Bank of America bank account. Now, some of these idiot banks, okay, because the people that work in these banks, they have an IQ of about 26, <laughs> all right? They're like dopes, all right? The first thing that they say to you is, so you now you have your Italian passport. So they say to you, well, now we need to see your fiscal code. So you whip out your fiscal code. Then they say, okay, now we need your resident card. And you say, well, I can't get my resident. I don't have my resident card. That was my experience. Uh, I don't have my resident card because you have to have a bank account in order to have a resident card. All right. So she had a tough problem because she was a... Hungarian national. She's a Hungarian national coming here. She's another EU national. So they had an additional layer of requirements for her. You have to have yeah. X amount of money. So this N26 is an online bank, N26. And it's good, okay? It's big. It's a German bank that has a lot of money, that's making a lot of inroads. And according to some of my friends on some of these websites, some of the communes yeah, are accepting that. that. Others yeah. aren't because a lot of them, as I said, 
are morons, okay? Well, honey, to be morons. Well, you, who who are the morons? The banks the, or the No, the civil servants that are working. They're just war- they're, they're just out. They're morons. They're out. They're following the laws. They need the to laws. be all retrained into the 21st they, century is but, what they need. But they're following the rules. And the rules here are antiquated. They keep changing. And even mm. I called, um, or Massimo called uh, uh, Katena, even though other places took M26, they wouldn't. Everyone has their rules. They're just following rules out. They're not morons. Ciao, Tutti. I we, will be in Sicily next month. I took your advice, Alfred. Thank you. That's Why? Awesome. What does she do? What, 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 she's, the, um, she's the website I like to say. Atlantis oh, is that graphic a, and web ah, design. Yes, I had a, I had a nice talk. Com- she's going to be here next month. Good, Nick. I'm glad. Oh, good. <laughs> Leonard says, "Ciao. I'm enjoying your take on history. I get to go to Rome next week, so I can fly to Sicily without restriction. Happy birthday, Sonia. Grazie mille. Um, you, depending if you are coming on a COVID-free flight from New York and other places, you do not have quarantine." However, if you are not on one of those, you have will have to quarantine until July 30th is the rule that they have in place. 10-day quarantine. Uh, Leonard, go to uh, Tullio's in the Piazza Barberini yes. for dinner. And then, or before that, go to the Hassler Hotel. Our favorite place. For a drink before you go to Tullio's. And if you're bringing, uh, if you're bringing a woman with you, whatever, you got to get lucky that night. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> That's a good. That's a good night. Uh, Fred McNeil, hello, Esther and Alfred. Hi, Very interesting. Me and my brother share a famous day on our birthday. What's that, Fred? Let us know. Let us know. Um, okay, I saw something else here. Okay, this one I wanted to see. Anthony says there's a great documentary on the Sicilians from New Orleans. What happened to yeah. them and other Italians around America in 19? 19- What's the name of it? I've seen a bunch of them. Uh, the largest lynching in American history took place in New Orleans, Louisiana, uh, uh, New Orleans, Louisiana, when 13 Sicilians who were acquitted of murder charges were uh, uh, lynched because the n- local newspapers urged the citizenry to bust down the doors and to lynch them, which they did. Perfect example of yellow journalism. Perfect example of blatant racism okay and these poor kids guys they were fishermen now from shocker i believe that in the neck of the woods just trying to make a living they were all murdered okay and which led to other copycat lynchings of sicilians americans uh uh sicilian immigrants this is going back to the 19th century end of the 19th century but my friend michael santos and all these other heroes busted chops with the city of New Orleans, and guess what? I think it was last year. Two after, years ago now. Two years ago, after years. all this time, they issued a, a formal apology. apology. I think it was more like three years yeah. ago. I think we missed a year here. And there. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, there could we, be a COVID. Can I just, it's COVID counting. Yeah, that's COVID <laughs> counting. <laughs> that year just doesn't count. I wanted to just go back um, to the community and tell you guys that, you know, it's not necessarily, Al, I respectfully disagree with you. They're not more, but their stuff is very antiquated. They still, you still go in there and not everything is computerized. There's still stuff that you have to go through those big books to look. You know, there's still a lot of <laughs> rules and regulations that are old. You're right. Uh, you know, if you have a, um, an accent on your name uh, and it's on one document and not another document, that's a problem. I mean, it's a lot of minor stuff, but they are just following the rules. Listen, can I say something? Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm not necessarily saying that people in the community are morons, okay? I am saying, however, that most of the bankers are uh, morons, okay? okay? <laughs> bankers, morons. Okay. In gen- Quote me on that. In be gen- careful when you go to the banks. Okay, just be careful. Measure nine times, cut once with those guys. Yeah. Look at every document. Oh, it, and there will be many okay? for you to look at. And if at. you can't speak Italian or if you can't read Italian, bring, bring somebody who can, especially the bank charges. Every time you have to say, for example, pay a bill, what's the charge? Some of these places hose you. Some of these places charge a receptor fee when you're wiring money. So say, for example, you're wiring money from the Bank of America. They charge you a fee, and then it goes to the bank in Italy. They, they charge, charge you a fee. fee, and then on top of that, you've got the conversion rate. So I'm telling you right now, 
watched these bankers. Well, and the, the other thing about the banks, Alfred, and, and this was told to me many times because Massimo came with me um, when we finally opened up the bank because three others turned me away and I was ready to put in 7,000 euros, but they turned my money away, uh, was that a lot has changed since COVID. So they have put a lot of things in place that were not in place when you opened up a bank account or even before COVID. So that's just something to keep in mind. If you have more than ten thousand dollars in an American, in if you're an American citizen and have more than ten thousand uh, dollars U.S. dollars uh, in the uh, Italian banking system, you're obligated to report your bank information to uh, the American authorities. Okay. Now most of the Italian banks are automatically, if they find out that you're an American, are automatically forwarding your info to the Americans. This wasn't due to COVID, Esther. This no, was I'm due to opening up bank accounts. This was due to uh, the ISIS stuff and terrorism and money laundering yeah. and stuff like that, especially in uh, in Italy. The EU has really cranked down yeah. on the whole business of money laundering. Of course there's still it still goes but on. So I, I'm I mean, talking the bankers are the worst ones to do it, especially the Italian bankers. But sweetie Please. I'm talking about opening up a bank account. I'm yeah. talking about opening up a bank account, getting a residency. There's stuff in place now that wasn't before. That's what I'm talking the about. Yeah. The res the whole business <clears throat> about a registered lease. When I got my first lease, there was no such concept as a registered lease. Well, yeah, registered lease. I have to pay 35 euro to go to the fiscal police and say, hey, I have a lease. Register it. <laughs> Think I'm going to do that? Why did they do that? Because Why? they don't want the landlords to get paid in the black and not report the income. Well, that makes sense. That's why they did it. Um, this is a great question, Helen. In general, are women in Sicily a bit behind in the women's movement? That is, do men still rule the house? Now, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna do this. Go I'm gonna let you answer first because I think our opinions are a little bit different. Are you kidding me? The women wear the pants in the house. Can I say okay, that? Okay, I agree with you. Okay, can I say that? <laughs> I agree with you. Are you kidding me? Yeah. The men, the woman runs the house. The man, what does he do? He goes out and earns the money and brings it into the house. But if this is a matriarchal system. Maybe some of the old timers, and I mean real old timers. No, they still, grandma, still, the mom still rules. But I think, I think Ellen is also asking in terms of, you know, publicly uh, women's lift. I will tell you this. There are more female businesses than there were maybe 20 years ago. That was very unusual. Uh with vineyards owned by women, there were very few. They're just starting. Even um, having waitresses as female because it's a male-dominated world. Um, so there, there is some progress, but it is still the majority. In fact, I was just looking and can't remember off the top of my head how many females are in the parliament, but it's a far smaller number. And I believe there are none in Sicily. Than you know, men. You know, we uh, universal suffrage, which is the right to vote, was granted <laughs> to women in 1946 as a result of this. As a matter of fact, they, vote, they voted in this election for the first time because the Constitution gave the women the right to vote. So people say to me, Americans say, ha, huh, women, they only voted since 1946. I'm like, excuse me, imbecile, comma. When did, when did the American woman get the right to vote? It was when? It was at the beginning of the 20th century. What was it, 1918, 1919? Mm -hmm. Did you know You know why a woman couldn't become a lawyer at the beginning of the 20th century? Because women were unable to sign a contract. Therefore, you couldn't be a lawyer, okay? So please, okay, America so advanced, America is so advanced, but guess what? They're not that advanced. Um, Kiara, Alfred, I'll be your campaign manager. Right. Let's make Catania great Free again. Free pizza. Free okay. pizza for everybody. That's what I uh, say. Jody, I'm looking forward to learning more about the golf course you recently showed. Yeah, our friends, Jody, you've stayed at the hotel. Those are the guys that have the golf yeah, course. Yeah, Francesco. 18 holes. It's a beautiful location. There's a restaurant there. You can even stay overnight. I mean, it is in a beautiful location up and the drive up there on past Lingua Glossa, um, you know, at the foothills Piedmont, of Mount Etna, Piedmont, Etnea, mm -hmm. fantastic place.
You don't have to rent the, you don't, you can rent the, you don't, they have golf clubs there for you too. So you can rent everything. They have a nice restaurant too. And you would love it, Jody. Tony yeah. It's awesome. Uh, there's walking trails, by the way. Alfred, do you need a secretary for the administration work around? Listen, the guys, I want to. I, I was gonna. I was gonna walk with both you guys. Said, Wait a minute, I want to talk ahead, to these ahead. guys. You two guys have a standing uh, offer uh, in my new kingdom. If you guys want to uh, be members of my court, kings have courts, right? Yes, yes. All right. You two guys can be my advisors on any subjects that you want. I saw. I remember one of those guys devoured a canola in about two both seconds. Them, they, they both oh did. no, no, one of them a one canola, of them, the other the real granita. skinny guy. What's his name? And <laughs> the other guy. I mean, who's the guy that was really thin? The guy from <laughs> England. That guy put the he put a canola down in about twelve seconds. So no, he's gonna, Laszlo was the one that ate the canola. Well, whatever, whoever it was. Anyways, one's going to be my culinary minister to assure oh, that there's the good chefs. They're good, oh, they're good cooks. I'm telling you, two of the nicest guys. Anyways, you guys are now in my my court. Escape Anybody? Kiara, Sicily. you too. You could be my prime minister. What? What? Excuse Female. me. Female. What? What position do I have? Def minister of Defense. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Tal from Tampa, Florida. Those cherries looked amazing. Ferment them from with cardamom, cinnamon sticks, and apple cider vinegar for one month. It's delish on top of ice cream. Miriam, thank you for that advice. Fantastic. How do you make cherry jam or cherry? There's got to be someone that knows how to make cherry jam. Right? Enzo is here. Enzo. Um, what a good looking kid he is. Hazel huh? Ion, she wants to be here. I hope so, Hazel. Uh, Alfred, 4th of July, Independence Day. That's correct. What did I say? Didn't I say that? 4th of July is Independence Day. And it's in the States. In the States, right. You can bring me, I speak Italian and Sicilian. Okay, and so, yeah, I think he wants to be look part of your... this guy. I, I have to find a position in my Jim kingdom. Jim Ingram. Enzo, you have a job. I'll figure out, uh, in my in my kingdom, you will have a job for you. Don't worry. Okay. Uh, Helen says the man might be the head of the house, but the woman is the neck that turns the head. Ooh, I like that. So I'm not going to really? fight you there, Helen. I'm not. <laughs> Kiara, <laughs> I know. <laughs> Peter Scapoletti says, can I be your gardener and tomato grower? Uh, yes. I have more than that. No, he's going to be my minister of agriculture. Is there such a thing? You're going to be okay. my agriculture minister. Are you kidding me, Peter? You're going to be in charge of all these lands. Okay. <laughs> um, I have to have another position. I don't want defense. I want to be. I know what I want to be. What you wait? Are you going to be king? King. Okay, I'll be president. Just call no, me madam. No oh, well, listen, this is look, going to be an this, absolute monarchy. I'm going to be like King mean, Alfred absolute? of England. So a it's king not going to be monarchy. So no. it's not going to be like here. You have the prime minister and then you have the president. No, you get you don't have the prime minister, president, and a king. Why not? Because I'm not going to do that. We're just going to have a king. Okay. But I'll right. give all my I'll give all the people in my court a lot of power. So <laughs> think about what you want, Hazel. I will glad you hand you over. My job will be to keep you in line. Oh now. God, Hazel, I don't know. Yeah, okay. I could do that. You could do that. Oh, that's awesome. Well. Let's golf together, Jody. That'll be so much fun. Okay. You know how to golf? Oh, my. Don't you remember I golfed the oh, other day? Yes, that's right. Uh, Alfred, I meant to type my birthday and brother's is 4th of July. Oh, my better. mother's is the 3rd of July. My mother's is the 3rd of July. Okay. My All right. late mother. My late mm -hmm. mother's is the 3rd of July. Yeah. All right. So that was a good little lesson. I really enjoyed this time of history. That was so intriguing. But can you imagine how this country, they really built themselves up. And here we are again, 75 years later, and time to build up again, right? Did you learn five things so far? If oh, you yeah. Haven't, if you Leave haven't you learned comment. five things, don't worry about it. We still have a half an hour. We have some more <laughs> stuff. To, now can we talk, talk about something? Revolting? Wait a second. I want to know what five things people learned. And before Just we go thing. on, Even one thing. please tell people what you're drinking. <laughs> Right, the ice has just melted. Look at it very closely. You see they, that? It looks like Coke. Do not it's laugh. Not. Do not laugh, okay? You know what this is? It's Kinoto and Jack Daniels, okay? Now, you know why you I'm drinking? just invented this today. No, I did not invent it. I watched one of the most enjoyable programs on Netflix. It was a thing called um, Kaminsky's Method, Method with Michael Douglas, all right? It's a wonderful comedy, drama. 
It'll make you laugh. It'll make you a hot break. It'll make you laugh some more with Alan Arkin and some of these other people. And despite the fact that he's a flaming liberal, uh, and he makes a couple of we're not uncharacteristic. Talking, we're not talking no, politics on this. I or, loved him, mm -hmm. and I loved the program. And in that program, he and Alan Arkin, or he drank uh, Dr. Pepper and Jack Daniels. So I got to thinking, Dr. Pepper is kind of like Kinoto in terms of the, the taste note. Oh, yeah. So I got my Jack Daniels, and I put it in my Kinoto. And guess what? This is going to be a refreshing summer drink for me. Sounds so good. Jack Daniels and, Co and Diet and Dr. Pepper in the States, Kinoto and Jack Daniels here. Well, this makes me happy. Enzo learned a recipe for cherry tomatoes. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. And Jim wants to be your right hand man and your culinary chef. Jimmy's going to be one of my oh, inner you circle advisors. Okay. okay. He's going to be one of my inner, you know, Jim's going to be like, He's going to be right behind the throne. I'm going to have him on maybe a ladder or something. And he'll be advising me, like, in my ear, like, you know, all those guys, like a Rasputin type of guy. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. All right. Let's. <laughs> uh, so let's see. What else has been going on here in Sicily this week? First time in, like, seven months that we were able to eat inside a restaurant. So you're able to eat outside and you're able to eat inside. Uh, and so we're moving along. The uh, number of victims continue to go down, the number of new positives. So things are really, really improving and people are looking forward to things opening back up. So that's, that's the good news. And of course, today it was a holiday. And so I saw a lot of people, a lot of my friends are out at restaurants, thankfully giving some business back. So that is a great thing. Now, could I talk? about my what I observed this week? Yes. Let me read this one last one and then. Sure. Back to Sicily. As soon as the children get their COVID vaccination, we will start our countdown to go back to Sicily. There you it's go. a nice sunny day in Oregon. Couldn't get we've been style. taking we've been taking private uh, reservations. I think I think we've had two this week, people coming in second half of uh, October, besides our trip at the beginning of October. So there's been a lot more action so to speak in terms of people getting gearing up to coming uh, to coming here we have a tentative trip scheduled for christmas that we'd like to find some interest in if we can find five or six or a couple weeks before in that oh, in oh yeah I mean, sometime in december. in december but right around the christmas time if you're be interested in having a small tour we're staying at the same places that we go doing the same stuff there's nobody here it's awesome the only thing you can't do is swim give it's very uh, festive it's unbelievably festive, and it's much more. If you come to Sicily around Christmas time, you got to catch the true religious yeah. meaning of it's beautiful the, the spirit. Okay, and it's wonderful to come here. The only thing we don't do is we don't go to Etna because the roads are way too slick. Yeah, but if you are interested, let let Etna know. I let Etna know. <laughs> yeah, sometimes she is. I've been Etna. called Etna let, before. <laughs> let, let us to know, and uh, we're working in. But it's really uh, the towns are beautifully decorated. There's lots of ceremonies. The Caltagirone. There's all the recipes, right? Yeah, hugely I mean, beautiful um, time. The precipice um, are the mangers, you know, the nativity yeah. scenes. All the towns have their own. I mean, it's like. But Caltagirone is spectacular. Just, just a great time. Yeah. A, almost every church has one, and there's a couple of churches that have like 10 of them. Do they um, have, how do they have hot Christmas is trees here? Yeah, believe it or not, they come from Germany. They actually have pine Christmas trees Where'd here. Where'd you see that? Hmm? Oh, I thought that was a question. Uh, how hot is it in Sicily? My cousin told me it's very been very hot. No, no it's been it it's been it's been very comfortable. It's I mean, nice. we're, I'm wearing no a, bugs yet. I'm it, shorts and t-shirt for sure. Uh, Jim says I'm oh, going to be minute. aid the camp to the Regina Esther. Okay, Esther, I want to just interrupt you here. Excuse me, yeah. But I have a couple of uh, things to talk about. At I mean, Esther's newest additions to her wardrobe this week. Okay, <laughs> and the first thing. <laughs> The first thing is going to be, I bought her one of her, a little hat for her. Check out how cute to this the, is. The beach. What do you think about that, huh? I love it. So now she has I a hat. I think I'm going to keep it on. Now you see these two hats? See my hat and her hat, right? Well, you're probably seeing, wow, these hats are really expensive. You know, Borsellino and all this, 150 bucks. <laughs> these come from the Chai Na Company. 
China Company. Oh, you messed up that joke. <laughs> China. <laughs> They're selling China hats here. These little guys, summer hats, right? Ten bucks each. I couldn't resist buying them because at the end of the summer, I always throw away your hat, my hats, yeah. because you just sweat too much. So I'm not going to spend 150 bucks on a good hat and then have to pitch that. So I figured. So this I is saw perfect that one. for the summer. I said, and I, and I You're going to golf in this. Yeah, when she goes golfing or playing yeah. tennis or, you know, washing the floor or something like that. <laughs> so that's, that, that's number one. Number two, listen to this one, okay? I'll take, can I tell a two minute story? One minute. Can story. I just, there's yeah, a, okay. a bunch of stuff. Okay. Kenny D, hello, Alfredo Sauce. It's Danny D, aka D Dia. What? I don't know. Who is that? This Kenny is D. Kenny oh, D. Oh, the Dia. Okay. Um, wait a sec. How's the vaccination plan progressing now? It is moving along yep. much better, and I'll have an update on the vaccinations on our Facebook page for sure. But it is moving along, and this week they're opening up the vaccinations to everyone starting June 3rd, I believe. They're opening up vaccinations to everyone, yep. uh, which is a huge thing, and they're expecting a few thousand doses also starting on June so we're moving along, moving along. So I'm getting my second thing. shot on the 15th of June. Which is coming up. Oh, can, late late. Yeah. Yeah, a couple weeks. Can I go, go ahead? Can, what about you? No. No, no. <laughs> no, no. Do you want to start? Go yeah, get it? Go, go. go. Okay. <laughs> so, all right. So let, me, let, me build, let me build up for her. Yes, yeah, so be careful, okay? About 15 years ago, I lost my luggage. Well, Alataya lost my luggage. I didn't lose my luggage. And... Uh, I had I didn't I didn't take my own advice and pack an overnight bag. So after two days of not having any luggage, my clothes were really rich, if you know what I mean. So I went down to I went down to uh, apartment store with Massimo and I bought some underwear. Okay, double XL boxes. Okay, and when I got home, like I couldn't wait to just take a shower. You know, I got my other underwear and I, I burned them practically. They were actually walking to the chair at nighttime. So I went to, when I went to go put these underwear on, double XL boxes, I could barely get them over my knees. Okay? They were like stuck at my knees, right? I couldn't believe it. So I said, ah, ha, ha, I got screwed. But then my, my luggage came. So I took the new pack and I put it in my suitcase. And when I went back to the States, I gave it to my son, Matthew, who's a men's medium. And they were actually tight on. Okay? So when I bought these hats from the China company uh, in uh, – <laughs> Where what he's saying, what he's saying, it's not called the China Company. It's he's making fun because it was made in China. This stuff is all. This is made in, made in China. Okay, <laughs> I bought uh, two pairs of boxer shorts. Okay, yep, Puma boxer shorts. Right, made, uh, you can't see that. Yeah, okay? you can. Made in China. So I said Puma double XL. Puma's a national brand, right? Puma. I'm going to be able to get them over my knee, right? <laughs> Double XL. Double XL. No, XL. Yeah. Yeah, right? Let me show them to you, okay? I opened the bag. <laughs> they fit me perfectly. <laughs> I couldn't get them over my knee again, right? <laughs> Except these were eight euro each, so guess what? They're so small. These are perfect so for Esther around the house, like when she's like, you know, doing exercises or it's washing funny. the floor. I mean, literally, this is like a size six for females. Yeah, it's right. hilarious. So, what's the lesson to be learned? If you're a big jumbo guy like me, make sure you bring a lot of extra underwears, okay? Because if you need underwears in this country and it's you're tough. over like 200 pounds, you're going to be in big, big, big trouble. Or else you're going to have to wear those guys that look like this, the little. Ooh, little Ooh. tiny Ooh, dongies or whatever you call them. Right? So. Uh, <laughs> Hello from Colorado. Enjoying your jewels of wisdom information. Do you both have dual citizenship? So Alfred does, and I do as well, because I'm a Hungarian national, so I also have my American, and we both have our identity cards, our health cards, and everything. Uh, yes, Sean me. Lewis just came in the house. Sean, the first 10 minutes we talked about Kennedy all- Kennedy my book. Excuse me. I, we Sorry. talked all about the Festa de la Republica, lots of information, lots of history. So after we're done here, make sure you scroll back and watch a little bit of it. May I say one more thing about, <laughs> about big men shopping? <laughs> Listen, if you have a big foot, Okay. Now, I know that there's a correlation between 
big feet and certain other body parts, comma, which is very indigenous to Sicilian men, <laughs> comma. <laughs> In any case, uh, oh my, God. my foot is a size 13. It used to be a size 12 because now I'm so old and so, I guess you could say, fat. It's kind of squashed my it. foot down and it gets bigger. Oh, stop it's it. It's impossible, physically impossible, to find a size 13 men's shoe in Sicily. That would be European 47. What they try to do is they try to put you into a men's 12. You know what that does to the beginning? Your toes look like this after two seconds, right? You cannot. So make sure you have with you some comfortable shoes, okay? Wide shoes, okay? Because especially on the terrain over here, if you're going to be walking, wide shoes. My advice, I mean, there's all these different great walking shoes, but spend 50, 75, or 100 bucks and get Skechers, the memory foam on the inside. You could. Like, I can tap dance around the house. Sometimes I'm just tap dancing around the house because I'm so happy because of my sketches. But I can't find sneakers. And I think that's inherently we should unfair. talk. We should talk about to Andrea and Francesco to see where, because those guys are tall like you, and they have big feet, and where they get their shoes. Well, that's right. I've gone to so many shoe places. They, like, snicker at me. The guy looks at my feet. One guy asked me to drop stamping on fire. Uh, Sean Lewis, <laughs> I will go back. I'm sorry for not tuning in. Sure. Glad to see you. I thought Sicilian people were little. So let me address that for a second. And Sicilian people are small, but they're also tall and large like Alfred. And especially on this side of the island, on the east side, when it was predominantly first settled by the Greeks, you do see a lot of tall, you see a lot of Greek uh, built like men. Whereas on the other side where uh, a lot of the uh, Saracens and Moors came to first. There's, it's much. Uh, they're a little bit uh, smaller, but you can also find smaller Sicilians in this area. The and fantastic thing about Sicilians is that you can find small, large, blue-eyed, freckled, redhead, dark hair with, uh, you know, very thick dark hair, uh, blonde. So it's it's. It's a mishmash. What is it called? It's a mishmash. It's a mishmash of people. Listen, men's clothing for big guys, right? You can't find them. Double XL t-shirts are equivalent here to a men's XL. Just want you to know. When I put on a men's XL t-shirt, I feel like a sausage. I know what a sausage <laughs> feels like. I'm like, oh, boy. Well, it's the same for females. It's, it's ridiculous. The same for, it's I mean, it's the same. The and sizing, you, it's right. the same also in Hungary, by the way, in the rest of Europe. The sizes here a very the different. only place to buy clothes in Europe if you're a big guy like me is the Netherlands. Okay, because they have they're the biggest, the biggest, believe it or not, the biggest Europeans are the Dutch. And I buy when I go see my daughter Jen, I buy stuff, underwear fits me like well, like underwear. Okay, a nice, <laughs> like silk, silk underwear. I don't wear silk underwear, but anyways. Well, this you, you'll you have to start. You're, you're king. You'll, you'll have to start. All right. Well, I'm a king. I'll have to do All it. All right. I want to talk about one more subject, okay? Okay. We still have time. Mm -hmm. Hold on. I brought extra shoes when I went to Italy, Sicily. No chance of finding size 15, 49. Peter, you're not going to find those. 49, 50, man. They used to have a double X, what is it called? Big and Men's shop in Catania, but they went bankrupt about 10 years ago. Um, Sean Lewis, a Sicilian women are so little. Some of them Some are, of them but are. but a lot of the women now, no, like Juliana, Vanessa, they're very <laughs> tall. Um, Caramar running trainers, 35 bucks upwards, Alfred's. I'll do loads of hiking when great and comfy. Where do they sell those, uh, Fred? Online? They sell them online? Uh, we've got Chow from Racapalmura. Palmumba, Sicily. Nice to see you here. Um, my great grandfather was tall. They came to New York City in 1909. He was a baker. See, Alfred is from this area. Uh, yeah. Sal, your buddy Sal says, I feel your pain, Al. I'm six foot three and size 13. Sketchers are all. Sal, I believe wear. me, they're, they, they're so good. They had the sales too, free shipping, free returns. I have like seven pairs of. of uh, Sketches. I'm not kidding you. And they last a long time. So when Frank, I when I need more, I have my daughter Jen order three of them. That's a good idea. Uh, from the states, and she just ships them to me. 
Uh, Frank Reed Roast Beef Chow from Spaghettiville in Lowell. Hey, we haven't seen you here in a while. Time. I think, That's what I'm going to do. What? I'm going to have a spaghetti. I knit when I'm king. Yeah. Wednesday is going to be Prince Spaghetti Day for sure. Do Sounds they still good. make that pasta? Hmm? Prince Spaghetti? Yes, of course. I'm sure. Okay. Um, Sean, uh, reading Sicily 3,000 years, we we are a comic and almost everyone except Asian. Yeah, it's such yeah, an incredible well. mix. All right, Alfred. Listen, I'm sure you, I, I, we're waiting for the last 10 minutes to talk about this, but you heard about the despicable news that happened the day before yesterday where they released the killers, the worst mafia killer of all time, Brusca. Okay, this guy, this guy was... Um, he was the worst of the worst, all right? He was. He ended up serving 25 years uh, in prison. He ended up being in charge of the assassination and murder of over 150 people during the Mafia Wars, including... Giovanni Falcone. Which got blown up in... What are you... Capucci. Okay. 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 Huh? On the highway in Capucci, right? Yeah. And... Um, the only reason he did 25 years was because he flipped. He became what yeah. they call the penitent. And under existing Italian judicial law, they take his sentence and then they minus off all the people that you flipped for that ended up, you know, panning out, so to speak. So he ended up doing, I want to use this sentence, only 25 years. And he, that's right. Now only he's 25. Now he's, he's 64 years of age. Evidently, he successfully, you know, hid, uh, hid all his assets, or most of them. So he's going to come out and on the streets or wherever he's going to be. I mean, personally, I think he's going to be a dead man walking because a lot of people that he killed. You know, Already there's uproar right. with the sister of Falcone, the president of the region, Nella Musumeci. Lots of people are outraged it's that a, he got released. You know, let me just say this, okay, as an attorney, okay, and I'm always, you know, I'm always for the guy that gets in trouble myself, go to bat for him. But in a situation like this, when you get a sentence of life without parole in the United States of America, that typically means you have to serve your sentence without parole. And this guy was sentenced in absence, in absence to life in prison. Guess what? Fit, it's gone. Okay, so now he's out. This is a symptom of the sick, corrupt judicial system that has afflicted this country ab initio from the from the from the get go. Okay, these magistrates that want this guy lynched and killed, their hands are tied because of existing law. Now this law has been around. Okay, as a matter of fact, uh, one of the two judges who was assassinated. Endorsed it. Borsellino? Who was the one that was killed? Borsellino? Who was the one that was killed? Falcone. In okay, and where was he killed? <laughs> Cabacci. <laughs> he endorsed this law at the at the beginning. Because he at the time, he says, it's going to be me easier for me to flip guys uh, if I have this law so I can offer them in the, as a bargaining thing. That makes sense, Al. Okay, but guess what? That was then. That's what, probably how he put so many mafia bosses behind bars during guess the what? Nazi trials. Want to know something? That was the first time that people began to flip really en masse, okay? But I want to remind you that one of the penitents flipped, okay? And this guy, Brushka, you know what he did? He kidnapped his 12-year-old kid. Did a lot of that stuff. He kept him, the kid hostage for 770 days or over that amount of time. Then he had him assassinated. He killed the kid. And then he dissolved the boy's body in a vat of acid. Yeah. Okay. We're talking about animales. Well, okay. he was called animals, the pig. He was, right? His nickname was the pig. Yeah. Okay. Animals. So now this guy. So how do you think And 99% of Sicilians, 99.5% of Sicilians, are anti-mafia, okay? How do you think the 99.5% feel They're outraged. When, when they have to read this in the paper about yeah. the inherent injustice of the Italian uh, judicial system? And how would you like to be a politician today trying to defend that? They're not defending it out. No one is defending it. Even, even my man up in the north over there, Salvini, he's been like railing, and your guy over here in there, uh, 
in Sicily. Mello. Which is a match. It was a match. They've been railing against us. How been, the hell did this happen? Yeah. Anyways, that's my rant. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> What's mama cooking for us? I've learned so much. Most of all, I've learned Al and Esther are so down to earth and full of knowledge. Thank you. You are such givers and work so hard to help people through your charities and all you do. Thank you. I appreciate that. I really well, appreciate that. For you people who just heard that blurb, I could say, why don't you join our private little membership group over here? There's a join button. Just One dollar and ninety nine cents a month, and it helps support what we do, namely pays the internet bill and stuff like that. And we have a little private channel for you to enjoy stuff that Esther posts two or three times a week. One ninety nine. A few people have joined today. We appreciate that. Or you could help us by sponsoring a uh, video, eight minute video from your ancestral home. Okay, uh, you can contact Esther. They're about a thousand dollars because we have to go over the road, rent a car, we have to get a hotel. But we'll go to your ancestral home, and for a couple of days' work, we'll do a nice video and we'll mount it up there for you. Am I right? Yes. And by the way, before I forget, Esther, Probably by Ms. Friday is we coming. should be putting up a video that she has, she has worked unbelievably hard on the one from the province of Messina. You think it's easy to put together an eight-minute video? Two weeks. Two weeks. No, well, it doesn't take me two uh, weeks, well, yeah. Al. We've been also a little bit I busy. I know, but guess what? A lot of older two Sicilian weeks. men are short because of the heavy work they did when they were young. Lots yeah. of heavy lift. In fact, in fact, the Carusi, the sulfur miners, Angel's a right. lot of a lot Angel's of those right. boys stay right, very Angel. small, very, very. Or as Massimo um, would say, "You right, Enzo. You right." <laughs> <laughs> You're right. <laughs> um, let me see. Uh, yeah, Sean, really bad, right? Uh, Fred says, uh, you'll get them online now, Sports Direct Shop. Last month, I hiked 197 miles in total. I'll check online for your side. How nice of that. Thank you. What if they, ship, they, ship, they ship to Sicily? No, don't even start that. Well, Most wait a minute. They could be shipping out of, because he's from Scotland, so they could be shipping out of England or something. Who the hell knows? I can't wait to meet What's Mama Cooking for Us. She's got a great YouTube channel with She's great recipes. She's got a recipes. great personality. Uh, on on Mihi, west coast of Sicily, besides Arabs, they also are Norman, and Se of course. Of course, yeah. And, and many others, and Viking, and, and so many others. Are we Thank doing that? you. Are we doing that? Back to Sicily for becoming a member. Awesome. All right. Let's bring a bell. Okay. Right. Next week I'm going to bring the bell. Listen, last week Esther said to me, uh, uh, she really liked last week's uh, show that we did on uh, the puppets. The no puppets. Well, we what did. We, we did. Two I like good all shows of our shows. One, I like all of our shows. We did one show on the puppets that was terrific, and then the last week we did it on buying a house, right? Yep, yeah. and then we also had Falcone and um, Borsellini. That was the week before. Was that the yeah. same week? Yeah. Right? So we so haven't we've, finished yeah, our. We have done a lot of quality inf informational type stuff for you this month. We just hope that you learn from it. Okay. I mean, I really hope that after the shows are over, you go back and you rewatch them. Uh, I know Nancy Moranto says that she filled up one and a half pages of notes on last week's uh, yeah. renting thing. But go back and study about it. That's why we're doing it. We're here to teach you a little bit. So when you do come here, the experience is that more enhanced. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> and not Back just to, Sicily, it, not Nova. just um, these chats, but we also have videos from all over Sicily. And believe it or not, we have over 120 by this point uh, videos from all over and Sicily. And over, over 1 million views, a million 300,000 views. Just on YouTube alone. On YouTube alone. Forget our, forget our programming that we did in California, in Massachusetts for years. And now, also now on now, Roku Now TV. we're on Roku. That that's uh, I've been waiting to make that excite that announcement. Yeah, Roku, we're Roku and Amazon Fire. Right. Uh, through DB DB and A television. DB and A network. television channel to twenty four seven and they gave us they gave us prime times, eight thirty PM PM seven, seven nights a week. Eastern right Standard Time. Eastern Standard Time, seven nights a week. And you can go to Roku and search DB. DB and A. Associated DB and A. Television. Television. Network. Okay. It's on Roku, Amazon, and Amazon Fire. Fire. 
And what else? A couple of others. Couple but of I'll, others. I'll leave you guys a link. Or uh, let me answer. <laughs> Candy, Candy D, where's a merch store? We're getting a merch store very soon. That's one of yeah. the things that I'm working on. Lots of great info, and I live here and learn every day. You guys are. Oh, thank you, Connie. Hopefully, like Connie. we can I'm gonna meet her, I'm gonna have her Connie, in my, Anna. In my court. I'm gonna have yeah, her she's in my court too. She's she's an Anna. She can be a princess. Um, you can be a princess, Connie. How Esther, what sound? software do you use for editing? I used to use uh, Final Cut Pro, but now now I use um, iMovie. But I'm thinking of changing to Filmora or something like that. Um, and we do to produce the show. We use. What's it called? It's called StreamYard. StreamYard. Very good. Very yeah, good. Very I mean, good. We're in Sicily and Mount Etna is erupting and we're still coming through. So it's a great little software. It's a good software program. Oh, before I forget. Oh, it, Connie. Okay. Queen. You are a, well, I don't queen, think you have a queen. You, huh? No, she can't be. No, because I'm the queen. I'm the Regina. You could be my concubine. <laughs> I don't think she'd like that. <laughs> Wait a minute. Listen, I want to say one thing, okay? Before we hang up the phone today. Remember that I used to hang up the phone? I remember my mother used to get off the phone. Anyway, uh, buy my books, will you? <laughs> first, me, wait a second. First, she made me say, first wait a second. You can't say alfredzappala.com anymore. I didn't say that. So I, said to I her, did not say that. I said to her, okay, I'm not going to say alfredzappala.com anymore. She said, when I first met you and interviewed, you kept on saying alfredzappala.com. Alfredzappala.com. So I'm going to tell you right now, I won't say... Alfred Zappa. No, I want to correct you. I said if you're gonna say Alfred Zappa.com, Alfred Zappa, why don't you put out there you me and Sicily.com where all our trips are located and all your services, including your books. You me and Sicily.com. You me and Sicily.com is having fun with Esther just to laugh because busting my balls on that note. She used Friends, to never talk thank like you that. so never. much for joining us. <laughs> Great to see you. Hope to see you guys on Sunday. Thanks for watching. Peace. Make sure you like this and share with a friend. Ciao. <laughs>